Hi everyone. So here today's topic is transfinite number. And whenever you are learning something new, you have to ask yourself three questions. The questions are why? Number two, how? And number three, where? So today's topic is transfinite number. So my first question is, why we need transfinite number? Okay, second question, how we get transfinite number? And the third question is, where we have to apply transfinite number? Okay, so let's come to the first question, why we need transfinite number? You know, depending on the number of elements in a set, we have divided the sets into two parts. Number one is finite set, finite set, where the num number of elements are finite and number two is infinite set, okay? And we also know that every finite set is countable, right? And infinite set may be countable, may be uncountable. So infinite set may be countable, may be uncountable. For example, set of natural number. We know this is countable. And set of real number, this is uncountable. But set of natural number and set of real numbers both have infinite number of elements, but one set is countable and the another set is uncountable. Now the question is, how we can different these two sets or how we can identify the two infinite sets, sets differently, okay? And here is the uh, point where we need the transfinite number, okay? And so we get the point why we need the transfinite number, okay? The reason is we have to, we have to need two different denotions so that we can differ to infinite sets, okay? So how we get this transfinite number? This is our second question. So when we get this problem that we have two infinite sets, two different types of infinite sets, okay? Number one type is countable, number two is uncountable. So we have to denote these two sets so the first denotion is LF naught. LF naught. Okay. And second one is continuum. We denote this symbol as LF naught and this symbol is continuum. So when we have to denote a countable infinite set, we will use this symbol LF naught. And when we have to denote a, an uncountable infinite set, we will use this symbol continuum, okay? Now, there are uh, some algebraic properties of these two numbers, and these two numbers are called transfinite number. Transfinite number. Let's see some algebraic properties of transfinite number. Number one, addition. What will be the addition of these two transfinite number? So LF naught plus C, this is equals to, this will be, uh, the sum will be the larger element or the larger number between these two numbers. And here LF naught, LF naught is the denotion of countable set and C that means continuum, continuum is the denotion of uncount uncountable set. So obviously this continuum, that means which is the denotion of uncountable set, this will be larger than LF naught. So this addition will be C, okay? Similarly, when we multiply multiplication, multiplication. LF naught 
dot c this is equals to again this will be the larger number that means c okay so in mathematics we have these two transfinite number now using these two transfinite number we have many transfinite numbers for example uh, suppose if we multiply two lf not lf not into lf not this is equals to lf not squared okay and this is equals to again lf not since lf not is the denotation of countable set number of elements in countable set so lf not into lf not this is equals to again lf not and this is again countable right if we write this is lf not square lf not square is countable so what will be 2 to the power lf not 2 to the power lf not this is equals to continuum and continuum is always uncountable so in csr net exam there are many questions where they ask this lf not square uh, in many problem we have to apply these two concepts lf not square this is countable and 2 to the power lf not this is uncountable okay what will be if c into c this is equals to again c okay and this is uncountable what will be mm, c to the power c c to the power c we know c is equals to 2 to the power lf not okay so this will be 2 to the power lf not to the power c okay and this is equals to 2 to the power lf not into c and we know that lf not into c from here lf not into c this is equals to c so we are getting 2 to the power c and 2 to the power c this is equals to c that means uncountable uncountable so lf not square this is countable 2 to the power lf not this is uncountable c square this is nothing but c square c square this is uncountable and c to the power c c to the power c this is nothing but 2 to the power c and this is c uncountable so 2 to the power lf not this is uncountable c and 2 to the power c this is again uncountable c lf not square this is uncountable and c square this is uncountable okay so again i am writing lf not square this is countable and c square this is uncountable lf not to the power 2 to the power lf not this is uncountable and 2 to the power c this is again uncountable okay so this is the uh, application of this uh, transfine these two transfinite numbers so here two questions why we need transfinite number and how we get transfinite number these two questions are already been answered now the third question is where we can apply this the concept of transfinite number in mathematics there are some problems that uh, suppose you have two sets a and b and there is a mapping between the two sets now if you can calculate the cardinality of the two sets then you can easily find out that the mapping is one one or on two okay and here we can use the concept of transfinite number not only that if you have two infinite sets then using the concept of transfinite number you can say that the two sets are equivalent or not okay because the two sets will be equivalent if they are um, of same transfinite number for example set of natural number and set of rational number the cardinality of the two sets are lf not cardinality of set of natural number this is equals to lf not and cardinality of set of real number a rational number 
this is equals to again lf naught so we can say that set of natural number and set of rational number these two sets are equivalent okay so in this way we can use the concept of transfinite number in mathematics okay i think this video will be very helpful for you and you will get some interest in this topic transfinite number okay if it is interesting and beneficial then share it with your friends thank you